try so hard. And all the people that I knew were from really low social. Here, let's see what's in there. How much money is in here? What if I told you there's over $900 in quarters in here? Probably that would be very, very accurate. And then take the money that's out there. This is a lot of money. Yeah. You don't. Don't spill any. Put it in the bucket. from there. No, you no, might no. end up your you you might end up in the background of today's video at some point on, at least on YouTube. All right, let's go see how much we made. Okay, guys, everybody has been waiting for so long for me to get some arcade machines and this is the first video in a series. It starts with a long journey of 10 miles to the thriving metropolis of Lancaster, Ohio, which is right outside of Columbus. I found a guy online that not only operates his own arcade, he also rebuilds gaming machines, all sorts of cool stuff. And needless to say, my kids are absolutely thrilled with this video series. <laughs> I have fulfilled the Ohio fantasy of having a full-sized arcade machine on our front porch. The kids played it till it was dark. So my middle daughter Tempe is here with me on the video to help me collect money from the arcade machine, count it, along with all the other machines, and we're gonna talk a little bit how the arcade machine makes money. This coin acceptor that's over here where that takes the quarters for the arcade machine is virtually identical to the coin acceptor that are at my vacuums at the car wash. There's a key in there to get funny. So, happens. You put a quarter in this. Put a quarter in. So, normally it doesn't thunk like that. Yep. Because it's in yep. this plastic because thing. Because it's in a plastic thing. Put that in there. Put a quarter in there. That's how it ends up. As time goes on, we have to change how we do the videos because the laundromat is just so busy. I had to come and do an interim coin fill and we have quarters coming out of our ears as seen here. How much money is in here? What if I told you there's over $900 in quarters in here? Probably that would be very, very accurate. So what's happening is I'm coming to the laundromat, grabbing quarters out of machines as quickly as I can, and then just throwing them back in. Let me know what you think about me having my kids in the videos because it's like having an avatar of all the comments. They ask the questions that I get all the time. And while you're at it, do me a big favor and be sure to like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you already haven't. I would appreciate it very much. Quarters. But I had to come and fill it. So you'll take that and you'll pull that down, pull this spring down, and then take the money that's out there. This is a lot of money. Yeah. You don't. Don't spill any. Put it in the bucket. Oh, you spilled it all. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy. I just separate everything. Yes. Ones, fives. The ones, fives, tens, twenties. And I want to run through the bill counter, okay? This arcade series is sponsored by North One. So whether you're an established business owner like me, or you are a just starting business owner like Tempe, selling Pokemon cards to your friends, you need a reliable online business bank. North One's business banking app combines all the features and benefits that you would expect from a large brick and mortar bank. But since they don't maintain physical locations, they can pass the savings on to you. You can easily save for big expenses like more vending machines through the use of their envelope system. Their app also connects to all the major pieces of software out there like PayPal, Stripe, Shopify. 
You can even deposit cash through a local ATM, or you can image checks and have them deposited straight in your account. It's by far one of my absolute favorite business banking apps, and if you are a watcher of Investment Joy, you can get your first month for free by seeing the link in the description or going to investmentjoy.com slash north1. I hope you guys get how busy I am in this video. There's customers everywhere, my daughter's inside counting money, and those things added up mean that I'm really making some cash here. We start this video off like most of my videos, opening up my $600 Coke machine. Howdy. It's out of drinks again, but 30 minutes after the video's done shooting, my guy shows up to restock it. So we weren't out of drinks for too terribly long. And as you can see here, there's people in the laundromat. I think during this video, six separate people show up and come to use our laundromat. Right now, a guy comes and he brings a big old bag to get more drinks and it completely runs the machine out of everything but Diet Coke. That's a restocking. Uh, oh, right. okay. Right. Uh, okay, a can of... Uh... Dr. Pepper and a can of Coke. Yeah, so now, <laughs> now we're totally out of pop. So, well, other than uh, Diet Coke, which no one drinks, yeah, this is my job. So, what are you looking for? Those are just the extra different. That's better. Yeah. It cost me money to. Like a thousand ones. There's a thousand ones. I don't believe you. That's a lot of ones. Them. I didn't count them, but okay. there's a lot. All right, so we got the one separated, the five separated, the ten separated, the twenties, and then here's the one dollar bills for the vending machine that Tempe here has done. So now we're going to count. That's the game. Money. All right, ninety-seven dollars for just the vending machine. So I'll have you put that over somewhere else. Here. All right. All right. This is for the washer dryers. 155, and we'll do the math later. We'll do three. Okay, two, 33. So we're about a little over $200 just for the washers and dryers. Okay, so we're at 304 now. Yeah. Oh. These are fives. These are fives. Tempe's right. And if we don't count them, so we'll have to take out 634. All right. Wait, you counted them as fives. Oh, well then let's count them twice. <laughs> So there, my Tempe is a good catcher. All right, got one more. One there. There. That's an actual. And then, finally, 20s. 20s. Let's see, and this is five days. All right, 1364 less whatever the fives are. And we'll use the magic of internet editing. Counted. Pile of money. Got a pile of, of bills here. Take the bucket of snack money. Here. If we start, no, no, if we turn the power on, what's going to happen to the change machine? Okay. All right. Now, the thing that I always forget about is the fact that these are quarters, nickels, and dimes in here. They're mixed money. This only sorts quarters because it's as old as I am. Stick this under there. Okay. So now we're going to hit power. Start. So, put that here. It's as heavy as the dollars work. Yeah. So, here's surplus nickels and dimes. How much do you think's there? $50. $50? Okay. Yeah. Is older than both of us. From the first National Bank of Chillicothe, which went bankrupt a long time ago. Yeah.
Now at this point, I realized that I did not get the money from the vending machine, so I'm going to go through here real quick and grab the money. And if it, you notice the background of a lot of these shots, there's people everywhere, which is a nice change of pace for my other videos without nearly as many customers. And be sure to let me know in the comment section what you think about me bringing my kids to work with me. Now all we have left is the vending machine collection and the arcade machine. So now I'm going to take time and show you guys a few machines that we did end up getting into just to see how many quarters there are. I ended up skipping taking video of one of my last collections at the first part of this month in favor for just getting it done quick. If I don't shoot content for YouTube or social media, I can get all these machines done in about 15 minutes. And we're now at a point that I'm running a huge quarter surplus. Excluding what the arcade machine made, we're at about a $900 quarter surplus on top of a $2,500 gross revenue that we've made for the laundromat. Both my daughter and the little boy at this point really, really want to help me collect quarters. So um, I figure the best defense about getting robbed is be everybody's friend. And the more people that like helping me with this stuff, the better it is. Sure, they might get a couple quarters or two, and I usually hand them some anyway so they can play on the games. But anyway, we're 10 days into the month, and I've already made my mortgage payment, my equipment payment, my water payment, my gas payment, and I'm just left with what I pay my cleaning lady, as well as any other incidental costs and my cost of goods sold as far as the vending machine goes, leaving me at $3,400 for the month and $2,507 in expenses. That's one of the most important parts. You know why? I can grab the bucket and I can throw it in the machine. Yeah. That means there's about $400 in there. Now it's totally full, which means there's probably, shoot, there's about a thousand dollars worth of quarters. No, no, no. I need to take it. I need to, I need to oh no. Now, before we get to the final quarter count for solely the arcade machine, I think the significant takeaway here is the fact this machine cost me $900 and an hour and a half worth of driving to Lancaster and then down to my laundromat. And you hit power and start. Ninety quarters. How much is that? Uh, I need to write it down. Do you have a piece of paper? All through, all through the office, we can't find it. So Tempe's going to tell us how much money did we make. Tell me. Two thousand two hundred and fifty. Two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. No, that dollar is coins. Coins. I think you have to move the decimal point, sweetie. Twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. Okay, so. Meaning, we made twenty-two dollars and fifty cents the first, the first week of operation of our arcade machine. On the surface, twenty-two fifty might not sound like a lot, but it's why you learn to do math. This was a three-day collection, which comes out to seven dollars and fifty cents a day. If it keeps up this pace, that means we will make two hundred and twenty-five dollars per month. Exactly four months after buying it, it will be totally paid off, and in one year, it will make two thousand seven hundred dollars. And make sure you stick around and you've subscribed to the channel with notifications on, because that arcade that we've talked about starting forever. I'm actually opening one within the next week and I want to talk to you guys about how much money does a arcade make.